Hello, I thought I'd just show you the uh, Gamer to Game Developer Series 3 Steam store page and some of the thought I put into it. Uh, so it'll be coming to Steam in just under a week, uh, thereabouts. And, uh, well, first of all, starting with the title. So you'll notice that the name is a bit different to like what's on the Unity forums. So in the Unity forums, it's an advanced FPS tutorials. But here I've just called it How to Make a Game. So why have I done that? Because I'm trying to reach a broader audience. So on Unity, I know that my audience are already people who are, uh, you know, in game development and they're already using Unity and they've got uh, some idea of the basics already. And so they're interested in making an FPS game. Now here I'm trying to reach a broader audience and rather than just using a specific name like an FPS, how to make it like, you know, how to make uh, an advanced FPS, for example, I've just said how to make a game because uh, that's just a lot simpler to comprehend. And anyone who sees the title then knows, oh, okay, well, it, some sort of instructional material. I mean, you just look at the tags and you know immediately. And then, of course, the description uh, that I give there is also, I guess, uh, pretty simple. Now, unlike uh, my S1 and S2 store pages, I've changed the trailer video. Instead of a you know a specific kind of trailer video, which has subtitles and a uh, soundtrack, it, this is different. I just decided that I'll just make a uh, video, not unlike the uh, demo video for of the demo scene that you saw previously. It's quite similar to that. And so that way the people watching it, they can hear their instructor's voice and they know what that person sounds like and what to kind of expect. And also just put like two of the tutorial videos themselves there as well so that they can get a really quick appreciation of what this uh, tutorial series is about. And then I actually make the uh, screenshots, uh, just capture them and always put um, some text on it so it just explaining giving some words to what is actually in this uh, tutorial series and what what is it about you know like here learn how to code blah 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 uh, then it's just talking about the engine so you get the idea that's that's how i work it now you'll see on the right side a very brief description and yeah that pretty much sums it up so i took care to really sum up what the series is about in just a I guess a paragraph. Now you'll notice um, that uh, like the, the store page itself um, looks quite uh, different. So I've, I've put a lot of effort into it. I haven't just gone with the default like uh, Steam uh, sort of text layout and so on. I've actually made my own graphics and stuff and put it in. And uh, these are actually all images inside of the Steam store page. Uh, that load up and I thought that this is it it's much easier to read anyway when I was looking at it I just felt that compared to what I had previously uh, with just a very bland looking thing this is much easier to read and it's much more like you can distinctly see what each part of the store page is uh, talking about which I think is quite important and so yeah I thought too that uh, some points were really important like uh, that I wanted them to realize that they need to download. So anyone looking at the store page, I, I need them to realize they need to download Unity separately. So it's not included in this package because this is just a set of video tutorial. So what I'm trying to say is that when you prepare a Steam store page, you really need to spell out everything, all the funny, fine details, because people complain about, well, look for anything to complain about. So it is important to just put in as much of the fine details in there. I've learned that uh, over experience, that that's what, that's what I should do, so that people uh, don't really have anything to complain about. It's all there in writing, very clear and nicely presented as well. And here as well, a big one, because of course it's a YouTube video tutorial series, so people don't actually have to buy it. So I have to make that very clear, so that they don't, so that no one can, feel any grievance towards it being on YouTube, they can see this, they can 
understand that yeah it is on youtube but if they buy it here then you know they get all the scripts package uh, on their computer all the videos on their computer and they get steam trading cards yeah they're steam trading cards actually which i guess sounds pretty ridiculous considering it's just some sort of a software launcher actually this is the launcher right here this is it so this is all it is it's a really simple interface and unlike s1 and s2 which were an actual uh 3d um, environment eating up your cpu power uh, this time it's just it's nothing more than just a uh, ui image that's all it is so it's really cheap uh, on your uh, processor and graphics card you won't be using it at all and here's a here it is so there's um, these open up the folders this will actually launch the demo build the one that you saw me uh, playing in the s3 demo video uh, so you can play the same thing see how it works uh, well, let's see how it works, rather experience how it works. Like you watch the video tutorials to see how it works. And uh, then, of course, all these links uh, to my uh, like Twitter, Facebook, website, eh, blah, blah, blah. So if I click this, all it does is just opens up uh, the actual folder, which then has all the videos in it. And you just open it up with your, you just double click, obviously, and play it in your default um, uh, media player whatever that is so that's all it is really really simple and yeah it's absolutely so if you buy this it's absolutely fine if you just copy the videos to your mobile phone or tablet or whatever and watch it uh, in your own good time however you want that's absolutely fine uh, and yeah you should be able to obviously and of course a lot better than streaming the videos over youtube and uh, i guess um uh, what I've also tried to do is here, yeah, I, I've got that welcome here, and I haven't accomplished this yet, that the series, so that's why, you know, that I want them to show how to, I want to show you how to actually, uh, prepare a game, and then, you know, sort of like market it, I'm not great at that, I'm still learning myself, and then how to, um, uh, get it through green light, uh, and then how to, you know, uh, I guess present it. That's what I, uh, that's my ultimate objective in the end. So I've just put that down. It's still a long way to go from there. And, uh, of course I just showed so that people know that the trading cards, what's inside of it, just a very brief idea. So yeah, these are the, some of the emoticons. These are three of them. Uh, and of course I, I thought this is quite important. It was one of the first questions like, you know, uh, what, I can't remember what the question was. I think it was something like, when will the sale be? Uh, so that this is someone who wants to buy, but they want to wait for the sale, which is absolutely right and fair. And, you know, I don't know when the sale is. Uh, so instead of um, trying to give any specific dates or something confusing like that, what I've done is I've just put a little bit called pricing certainty and just said that, you know, over this year, 2016, the price, base price won't drop and it will actually rise as I add more chapters. And, you know, the maximum discount is 40%. So that way, anyone who buys it, like, at 20% or at full price or whatever, they know then, and, and it, it, they can't feel, like, uh, cheated that, uh, oh, it's suddenly on an 80% discount. Like, it's not an intentional thing that I would do it like that. I mean, so this way, that way, I can avoid any hard feelings um, uh, by doing this. And from coupons, I have to check what I've set that to. I think it's 50% is the maximum from coupons, if you manage to get a coupon uh, from uh, Steam for this title. And... And so it won't be uh, less than 40%, I mean more discount than 40% over this whole year. So that way no one has to be worried. So if they see it at like uh, 40%, then no one, if I ever put it at 40% over this year, then obviously then that's the best possible deal uh, over the year. Um, so then I, I put another one here, like series three chapters, and to show what is actually complete, what is not complete, what is the chapter even about? And I thought that, you know, I should just make it like images because it look a lot more interesting. I had a table here before uh, when I just started, when I just prepared the store page for the first time. It was a boring looking table that was difficult to read. So I thought, you know, I really need to uh, put images there, which makes it look a lot more interesting and it gives a better idea of what's going on as well. And then, yeah, so there are more chapters to come, so I have to actually work on these. I haven't built, like, the melee system's not done. Two of the systems are done, like the bazooka system I've done a long time ago. I just have to make the uh, tutorials for it. And uh, the terrain, sky, and birds, of course, you see that in the S3 demo. But, of course, I have to get around to developing the training for that. 
And then there's, so there's three chapters that are not complete, and then a general chapter or chapters where I show how to turn it into a proper game, just general videos, not, not detailed. I can't go detailed by that time because then there's too much work. And so, of course, I have to show it at a general level, how I turn it into a proper game, and then how do I, you know, market it and uh, approach Greenlight. Uh, so that's it, and then I guess that's it. So that's how the uh, Steam Store page looks uh, at the moment. And uh, I wonder if there's anything else. Well, if you have any questions, uh, just just ask me. Just ask in the comments below, or go to the community hub and use that. That's fine. And if I have an answer, I mean, I'll give you the answer for that. Uh, otherwise, I think that's it. So in uh, just less than a week, should be out on Steam. And uh, I guess all should be well. And by that time, too, Chapter 7 videos should all be complete and part of the uh, package. Anyhow, um, I guess I'll see you later. And uh, I guess I'll be uh, continuing on with uh, preparing more video tutorials and uploading them to YouTube and uh, the Steam package as well. All right, thanks for watching.